The University of Arkansas's women's tennis team found themselves in familiar territory on Sunday as they battled Clemson to move on in the NCAA tournament. After dropping yesterday's doubles point to Sacramento State, the Hawks regrouped and won four straight to advance. However, today's ending would not be the same. After losing the doubles and its one and two singles points on Sunday, Arkansas found itself down 3-0 to zero with four matches to play. But after wins from Claudine Paulson and Emily Carbone, the Hawks battled back to put themselves in position to tie until Kate Lukumskaya's loss clinched the win for the Tigers. Well, I think we were really fortunate. Uh, as you saw, you know, Arkansas um, it was looking pretty good for Clemson there for a while, and then Arkansas really stepped it up and uh, began to turn things around. The momentum really switched, so, you know, we were really fortunate. Uh, no fortunate. I think that we did feel some momentum there, but you were in such a big hole uh, when things started looking better, and, and when you're that deep in the hole, you know, you only have to have one, one spot blink. And that third set there got away from us at number four. Um, you know that might have, you know, might have been, you know, might have been the difference maker. You know, I think that a lot of things today, um, you know, were, were results of what happened a lot this year. Clemson's great at one doubles, and they're great at one two singles. And I always knew that if we weren't going to be able to beat them at those spots, then we would have to win three, four, five, six. And that's unfortunately the, what happened. We didn't beat them at one doubles. We didn't beat them at one two singles. And so that turns the match into you have to win three, four, five, and six to win the match, which you can do. But as it, as it turned out, there was very tough to win four of four. And, uh, you know, four third sets, we win two of them. Um, you lose one and one's unfinished. And we had, you have to win four of those out of four. That's a tough spot. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, it's a very difficult um, day. Uh, when you lose that last uh, team match, and uh, you know you always know in the round of 32 of the NCAA's it can go either way, and uh, we've we've been on both sides today, and I certainly don't um, I don't feel anything but a lot of a lot of pride in our team's performance uh, this season. We, you know, relatively young team, um, had some extremely high highs this year. Um, one thing I'm extremely proud of with this team is. Uh, we were very consistent this season. Uh, we did not take a loss. It's the first team we've had that didn't take a loss out of the top 25. Even our uh, teams that have advanced further than this had a loss or two that were that were, were um, uncharacteristic. This team, this team's worst loss was to number uh, 23 on the season. Uh, so this team played at a very high level all the time. Uh, gave itself a chance to win every match, and uh, you know played with a lot of character.